Hello everybody, this is the Mothership here, and today I'm showing you how to use your Xbox controller on a PC. Now this tutorial is for Windows 7. For Windows 8, it's really not that different. You can totally adapt this tutorial. If you need extra help, you can comment below. Um, if you're using a wireless controller, you can comment below. It's not too much different, so you should be able to figure it out yourself. But if you do run into an issue, just contact me. But this one's for wired controllers on a Windows 7 PC at the moment. So first, what you need to do is go to the link in the description below. Uh, that will take you to this site here. Now just click on search for download and click gaming. And Xbox 360 controller for Windows. Uh, if you are wireless, click the wireless one. But I'm not going to go over that. So here you'll get this. Um, all you need to do for this tutorial, really, it's going to be very quick, maybe four minutes. Uh, click on this, uh, just select your operating system. So, I'm 64-bit Windows 7. If you don't know how to do that, there's plenty of tutorials online to figure out what operating system you're using. And um, I, I'm assuming you can speak English, considering you're watching this video. But if you speak Italiano or... I don't even know. Just go with English, please. And hit download there. So that's a somewhat long download, so I just uh, got it right here. It's maybe 30 seconds, but that's forever, in my opinion. Once you got this, click, double click on it. I've already installed it, but it's basically check a box, and there you go. If you want to uninstall it later, go to uninstall a program, hit enter, take you here and it's just Microsoft Xbox 360 accessories 1.2 very easy to find and uh, there you go now you have installed the proper software that you need to run the controller on um, so your computer for this tutorial must have a USB 2.0 port now if you don't know what that is that's perfectly fine you just plug it into your USB port and if your controller lights up you're good it's just a powered USB port so I'm going to plug mine in here real quick. And uh, after the installation, you might be prompted to restart your computer. Go ahead and do that if you need to. Uh, I don't because I've pre-installed it and everything. So here we go. Your, uh, your controller should light up with the first player thing. If it doesn't light up first player, then you've probably stuck it in the computer before. Um, just pull it out and plug it back in a bunch of times until you finally get it. Or, I have not seen a game that has multiplayer Xbox controllers, but if you need to be second player, go ahead. I find that only first player works for Just Cause 2, and that's what I play with an Xbox. So, once you've got that, you should be ready to go. You can go play if you want. Um, I suggest learning the controls to whatever game you're playing. If you need to set that game to a certain setting, do so. Uh, for Just Cause 2, it's really easy. It just plays it for you, and it gives you tips along the way has an extra control section for that. But if you want to test out your controller, you can go into this start menu. And uh, on Windows 8, it's basically the same thing. Just go into your search thing, type joy.cpl. There you go. On Windows 8, you'll have to click search and do whatever. But for this, you can just hit enter. Click on your Xbox controller, hit properties. And there you go. If you hit A, it'll be button 1, B is 2. X is 3, Y is 4, you can pull the triggers, as long as something moves when you're doing that, joysticks, move the um, crosshair around in that box, super simple, super quick to do, I don't know if I can expand that window so you can see it better, uh, very quick, you got it, everything is perfect, if you can test it this way, uh, if you guys have any troubles with this, uh, don't hesitate to comment below, I try to respond to every single comment, if I can, if I'm confused, I will attempt to Google things for you. But it's very straightforward. With a wireless controller, if you don't have any idea how to do it, I think there's a little adapter thing that you can get with your controller. You can buy them online, eBay, it's like, I'm pretty cheap. And that'll allow you to plug it in like it's a wired controller to your computer. That is it. You can now play games with this. Um, I've seen people use it for Minecraft. Um, I don't know if you can do it with CSGO, but Just Cause 2 is really way better in games where you need to use a car uh, the triggers work so much better than hitting W because instead of flooring it you could go 60 miles an hour 
hope you enjoyed. If this helped you, please click like, uh, comment below if you need help, and subscribe. Thanks, everyone. I will see you all later.